Former presidential candidate Omoyeli Shuwore has said he was at a federal high court in Abuja, the nation's capital, to see that Nandikano got justice but had been arraigned and conveyed to the custody of the police. Leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Airport, Kano was arrested in the United Kingdom and extradited to Nigeria to face trial of allegations of treasoning leveled against him by the Nigerian government. However, the human rights activist has said he fears for the safety of the leader of the pro Biafra separatist group as he was blindfolded, handcuffed, and his legs were chained. I'm here to see that now the Kano gets justice, but unfortunately, he has been moved to be detained. I fear for his safety. He was hooded. This is despicable. This shows, you know, what happened now has just showed that we are in the Banana Republic, he said. Showore also stated that Kanu has the right to agitate for self determination, especially in a system that has kept denying Nigerians their rights, while adding that he has been a victim of human treatment from the Nigerian government as well. The way he was treated was despicable. The system has a way of adopting people and bringing them to court. I have been adopted like that before. There is nothing wrong you know, with asking for self-determination. And Amdekano has the right to ask for self-determination, Showare added. Kano was you know, swiftly transported to court too, where the preceding judge Justice Motala Onjoko told the prosecution lawyer Shaib Labana to you know, notify the defense counsel of the new date for the continuation of the trial. Journalists were pre you know, prevented from filming Kano as he was shielded and taken through the back door. The prosecution applied that Kano jumped bill and wanted him to be remanded at DSS custody. Justice Motala Onyako has adjourned the matter to July 26, 2021. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubaka Malami San, Tuesday had earlier declared that Namdi was captured by the operatives of Nigerian Security Intelligence. Kano was on October 14, 2015, arraigned by the Nigerian government over allegation for terrorism, money laundry, and treason (ETC). On March 28, 2019, his bail condition was revoked by Justice Binta Nyako of the Federal High Court. What is your thought about what has been said? What is your reaction to this? We have had the presidential candidate. The former presidential candidate Omoyeli Showare, who have said that he was at the Federal High Court in Abuja, the nation's capital, to see that Nnamdi Kanu you know, got in, you know, justice, but had been arraigned and conveyed to the custody of the police. According to what we have had in the news, there is nothing wrong with asking for self determination. Nnamdi Kanu had the right to ask for self determination. That is what Showare have said. What is your thought about this? Showare said. Namdi Kano has the right to agitate for self-determination. Why is he being arrested? What is your thought about this? Raf Tataga, you know, reacted to this and said, Showare shouldn't be scared of anything. Our struggle has gone past fear. What is your thought about what Raf has said? That Showare needs to be, you know, needs not to be scared about anything because our struggle for this Biafra has gone, you know, gone past fear what is your thought about what has been said well let's move on and see what other people reactions is on this vivian oye reacted to this and said nothing will happen to him he was born for this the hand of god is in the matter that is why i'm telling nigerian government to trade with caution we can see vivian saying that the nigerian government need to trade with caution about this issue on their hands because nothing will happen to an Abdikano because this is what he was born for the hands of God is in this matter. So, the government of Nigeria needs straight with caution. That is what Vivian has said. What is your thought about this? What is your own thought on what has been said? Well, let's move further and see what other people's reactions is on this. Precious Sunday also reacted to this and said, The biggest mistake the Nigerian government would do is let Mazinam Dekanu die in their custody. History has shown us that 
it never hence well. If he has committed any crime against the Nigerian government, allow his access to a lawyer and fair hearing in court. Simple. The agitation of Biafra has gone beyond Enabdikanu. Even if he is killed, there will be tomorrow to rise you know, in his stead. Nigerian, you no, know, don't need this. The government should trade with caution. What is your thought about this? We can see people saying that the government of Nigeria needs to trade with caution about the present situation. Because the biggest mistake the Nigerian government will do is, you know, let Inamdekano die in their custody. According to history, it will, sh you know, history has shown us that it will never end well. If he has committed any crime against the Nigerian state, allow him a access to his lawyer and let him have fair hearing in court. Very simple. The agitation of Biafra has gone beyond Inamdekano. According to what people have said, I said. You know, Biafra is an ideology. Nobody can kill ideology. Nobody can arrest ideology. Said so ideology is the blood flowing through Nigeria. You know, the citizens of, you know, the southeastern part. People are agitating for Biafra. It is ideology flowing through them, and you cannot arrest ideology. What is your thought about this? If Inamdi Kanu dies, you know, today, you know, we have millions of people, millions of Inamdi Kanu who will still rise to agitate for this Biafra. So killing Inamdi Kanu will not change anything. I think the best way to go about this is just to call an Abdekano into you know the form of dialogue, dialogue with him, let him understand the way things should be done, and perhaps because with the look of things now, I think an Abdekano is the only person that could talk you know to the southeastern people who are agitating for you know Biafra is the only person who can talk to them to stop the agitation because there's no amount of killings, there's no amount of you know threatening you can give to them these people. Their mind is made up already and they are ready to fight till Biafra is you know actualized. What is your thought about this? So I think the best way to go about it is just to you know dialogue with Nabdikano and let everything be settled. What is your thought about this? I would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on this that has been said. I would like you to share your own reaction with us by the comment section on this that has been said. So the federal government can go through the pains of arresting Kano abroad, but we're unable to locate the you know the shikau they were unable to locate and arrest shikau before his death that have been terrorizing innocent people for years what is your thought about this this was said by adeyemi oluatosin that is what adeyemi oluatosin have said that so federal government can go through this pain of arresting kano abroad but were unable to locate and arrest shikau before his death shikau that has been terrorizing innocent people for years what is your thought about this what is your own reaction to this? People have been saying that IPOP and Eastern Security Network are their peaceful security outfit. And Abdikano is, you know, the leader of the pro Biafra, you know, the leader of the pro separatist group. And he has been a wonderful man. He has been loved by, you know, everybody in the Southeast. And these people are saying that we don't want him to be arrested. We don't want him to die. And even if he dies, that does not change anything because. This Biafra we are agitating for is not just about Inabdikanu. It has gone beyond Inabdikanu. This is an ideology and this ideology flows through our blood. What is your thought about this? It flows through our body. It's in us. And if Inabdikanu dies today, millions of Inabdikanu will rise again to you know, agitate for this. So I think the best way to go about the present situation is to call Inabdikanu into a dialogue. Let's dialogue with him and let's see how everything will go because if we continue like this, probably it will, you know, cause even more damage than what we are thinking of. What is your thought about this? We would like you to share your point of view with us on this that has been said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.